Hey, what's up guys? Michael here, Shy City Yacker. Welcome back to the channel. We're on the hunt again. Early spring, coho salmon on Lake Michigan. Now you have to excuse the wind. It's a windy day today. Uh, one of the great things about this time of year, a lot of guys will try and go out the crack of dawn. You don't necessarily have to go out that early. These fish are gonna bite throughout the day. Um, and, and a lot of times I've found that they'll bite better as the water warms up a little bit from the sun coming out. So don't be afraid to go out. Oh, a lot of wind, a lot of wind. Don't be afraid to go out uh, mid-morning, even midday afternoon once the sun's been out for a while, warming up that water. A degree, degree and a half can go a long way. So we got a late start today. Wind is picking up. It's gonna be a big factor in today's fishing. Don't know how that's gonna impact the fish. We're about to find out. And a little bit different from our normal fishing, we're gonna be using spinning rods to get the job done today. A lot of people may not have uh, line counter rods and reels may not want to invest in it and just to prove that you can use your standard bass fishing walleye fishing rods medium action stuff like that uh, to troll flatline cranks it is effective it can be done there's a little bit of a caveat in doing it but the goal for today is to show you that it can be done so enough of me talking let's get out into the water and don't forget if you want detailed fishing reports go down into the patreon link down below in the description for it as well as all the gear tackle lures everything that i'm using oh my god the wind is all down in my amazon uh, amazon shop link which is down below so check those all out it supports the channel don't, no additional cost to you and uh let's get fishing all right mines are in the water I'm trying something different today I'm trying out some uh, new baits we're using the spinning rods and we're again testing out putting through its paces the runkle titan series spinning reels that were uh, provided to me by runkle so let's see if we can't get hooked up and uh, get some more play time with the reels um i started using them in the open water winter fishing period and uh, it felt good uh fighting bigger steelhead and browns um so now targeting coho they are not exactly giants but still you know we're gonna check for the drag here See how we play the fish. It is a windy day today. Going too fast. Uh, speed control is going to be a big factor for today. We've got the wind coming out. And with the current, we're moving probably faster than what I would like to. So I think we're going to have, I think we'll have better success uh, going into the wind and current, so we can control our speed a bit, a bit better that way. But uh, we shall see here. We just got lines in the water. It's actually pretty busy today. I wasn't expecting it. Also, I would have liked the. It's a really good lake lake trout bite going on right now. We're getting blown up pretty good. Oof, that wind. It's blowing us uh, sideways. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, we got a fish on. Oh, we're off. Yeah, we're off just that fast. Well, it's when the crookie crumbles. Had one on. We were kind of drifting, and that that bait was going a bit slower. Might have even been floating up. So we may try to slow down. Definitely marking some fish on the bottom here. Could be Lakers, maybe. There we go. There we go. Oh, another drive-by. Wow, that's over two. I can't believe that. Huh. They're not hitting this thing. I mean, they're hitting it, but they're not sticking. So what I'm having to do today, which is a bit different because of the current and the wind ripping, and they're both coming from the same direction, is I'm having to really manually control the speed here. Um, I can't just throw it on auto cruise and set the speed and just go. I literally have to adjust it constantly here trying to keep myself in the zone. It seems like I'm getting hit at a little bit slower speed here. So I'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit. 
see if we can't get popped. We're we're 0 for three. I'm actually surprised. You know, we're trying a new bait. Um, it's a smaller profile, and uh, they could just be missing it. You know, they're they're, they're not fully getting it. But uh, that's that's rare to have three three hit and shake off that quick. Uh, just bury it. So those hooks are sharp. Don't know. So right away with this brand new lure that I'm testing out that I, I, I believed would work really well, it, it is, but it isn't. I got 0 for 3 right off the rip, and this is a real kind of a big uh, kick to the confidence. I'm like, okay, man, like it's working, but they're not staying on. What could it be? Could it be the hooks? Could it be the profile? Uh, could it be because of the winds and the current and everything else going on that they're not really getting a good you know, take on it? could be a variety of things and at this point it's easy to give up on something new and just kind of go back to the tried and true but i wanted to stick to this i i believe that it could work and after going 0 for 3 stick it to the game plan pays off there we go there we go i think that was gonna stick I think that one's gonna stick, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll spot lock right here. There we go. That one should stick. Where's he at? There it is. There we go. go guys oh, oh, come here there we go first fish on finally let's go ahead and get them in here and there we go beautiful little coho first one for the dick <laughs> Well, you guys get the idea. Let's go ahead and get them in the bag and get back out here and get a couple more. We got to make up because we lost three. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves set back up over here. Now, as you know, I'm using uh, spinning gear today. And the challenge with this is that you want to replicate, uh, you know, what you're doing. And with a line counter, it's easy to do that. You just set your line to whatever, you know, le length of uh, out there. And then you just catch a fish, you wash, rinse, repeat. It's different with spinning gear. Um, you're gonna need to use some kind of way to replicate what it is that you did that caught that fish. And so for me, um, I it's hard to explain. I kind of eyeball it, and uh, that's that's what's working for me. You can also do something like take strips of line out. So there is a variety of ways to do this. The important thing is, is however you do it, keep it consistent. You know, replicate what it is that you're doing. There we go, there we go. Oh, it came off again. Wow. Oh, no, we're back on, we're back on, we're back on. We're back on. He's fighting, I'm pulling. Let's try and reel this one in. That did not take long. This lure, color is is uh, clearly clearly popping off for us right now we're gonna turn around here there we go there it is see him right there spot locked down Keep the tension on. This is re really challenging today. Very, very challenging. Oh, oh, they're over the fish. Did not want to do that. All right, brought him over on the wrong side. I'm just hoping he doesn't come off. all over the place there it is all right that was 
pretty much back-to-back -back catches right there, guys. So we're starting to dial it in. Oop, hook came right out. There we go. Another beautiful, perfect eater size coho. This on, this on. There we go. Did not take long. They're crushing this bait. They are crushing this bait. It's actually insane. Actually insane. Actually insane. You want to know what the hot bait is, guys? Look down in the link below. I'll put it right there for you. All right? Let's go pick it up. It feels like a little bit nicer sized fish. And I'll tell you what. These Runkle Reels... Titans, they look good, feel good for the price point. Oh, whoa, whoa. They keep coming over on the side I don't want them to. It's actually a nicer size coho. There we go. All right. This is, uh, we, we dialed it in that quick. We missed the first three. Now we've got the next three. We are uh, not doing too bad here. There it is. There we go. Fish number three. Oh, it's a little bit fatter. Definitely a fatter coho right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get back out here. Pretty confident we can limit out and get off the water before the wind really starts ripping. I mean, it's it's ripping now, but as we get later into the afternoon, it's projected to get into the 30 gusts, and we don't want to be out here for that. We've got a small window, and uh, we're trying to capitalize on the fishing. That's what it's all about, taking advantage of opportunities when they're given to you. I'm definitely noticing that I'm getting bit kind of at, at slower speeds. Slo slower speeds when I'm going into the current and wind because you got the current coming down, so less speed going into it because that current's doing all the work on the lure. There we go, there we go. There we go. Finally got hit on the other rod. Oh, we're moving so fast. There we go, fish number four, if we can keep them on here. Feels like they're uh, we're getting into some better, just a little bit better sized fish here. There we go. You hit. Look at. There we go. We got doubled up. We doubled up. We doubled up. There it is, guys. We doubled up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this guy in quick. Let's go. Still on? I think he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. Come here. All right. There we go. One. All right, let's get this other guy in here. All right, we're still, yeah, we're still on. <laughs> Springtime coho fishing. When you dial it in, you dial it in. We got the right baits here. We're kind of spinning all over the place. Let's kind of turn around. This is a bit chaotic. This is what coho fishing is all about. I think I'm on, I think I'm on my rudder. Let's clear that out. I'm hoping we don't lose this fish. And we're going to load him. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. We still got the fish on. All right, we still got the fish on. Let's spot lock. Oh, my God. I don't even want to put them in the net. It's going to be too crazy. We're going for the good old boat flip, guys. There we are. 
We got him. We just doubled up. <laughs> we limited out and it's it's maybe not even an hour. We're done fishing. Well, yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> oh my God. What an insane. We dropped the speed down, boom, fish on. All right, let me go ahead and try and deal with this. This is kind of crazy right now. Oh, there we go, y'all, doubled up. Actually, a little bit bigger one here on this hand right here. Doubled up, we just limited out. And uh, yeah, hell yeah. And as we wrap up this trip, a complete success. Another five fish limit, second trip of the year. We're on fire to start off the year. Fingers crossed that it doesn't go downhill from here. We keep up, you know, the pace of what we're doing here and fishing, dialing things in really, really good. New lure, really blew it out of the water. I, now I know for a fact this is something to add to the arsenal that's gonna catch Coho, and uh, I'm excited about it. It's always cool to find something new that's gonna work and produce. And, and honestly, this lure probably worked so well because of the conditions maybe on other conditions they wouldn't have produced in the same way we'll find out as i go along and test it some more put it back in the water some different conditions and all of that but today on fire from the time i put lines in the water till the time we pulled our fifth coho out it was 40 minutes tops limited out guys on the boat still struggling to catch fish didn't catch as many still trying to get a limit haven't caught any at all and, and, and I ended up putting a clinic out in front of a lot of people. People ask me, what are you doing? What are you using? All, the, all those details that you can get on my Patreon right now for my detailed fishing report. So check that all out. But the big takeaway here is yes, you can do this kind of fishing with, again, your rod and reels that you have, that you use for walleye fishing, for bass fishing. The key to it is replicating uh, that amount of line out. You don't have a line counter on it, so you gotta use some kind of system, whatever it may be. You can go and strip line at, at 12 inch increments and, and count those out. Uh, you can count out how many times the line comes off the spool. Whatever it may be, use some kind of metric that you can repeat that same amount of line out, all right? That's a big key, and that's what led to me having that success for today. The fish wanted this, this presentation a certain depth, had to let out the line to a certain amount and get it all in there, and we got the job done, and enough of me yapping my mouth. Thank you guys for joining me on this uh, fishing trip. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, throw the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, looking for more info on salmon uh, fishing, kayak fishing for salmon and trout on Lake Michigan, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.